Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Pearson, your elementary ELL teacher. Today we're going to practice the vocabulary words as well as sight words and pictures for first grade journeys lesson 19. And our anchor text is the biography, Tomas Rivera. So for this lesson, we're going to turn and talk. That means I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to think about your answer. Then you're going to pair up with a partner at home, or you can be my virtual partner. And then you're going to share out your answer and thinking in a complete sentence or sentences. So for this lesson, you will need a pencil and a piece of paper or journal page. Then you're going to write your numbers one to eight. And on the first number, for each number, you're going to write the targeted vocabulary word. And then at the end of the um, lesson, I will challenge you to write the word up to two more times. One and two. The second time, you could draw a picture or just write the word again. So here's our learning targets. I can use pictures and context clues to help me understand important words from the biography Tomas Rivera. Our other learning target is I can talk about the important words and pictures. Success criteria, that means how will you know you're successful at using pictures and context clues to understand important words from the biography? And how will you know you're successful at talking about the important words and pictures? Well, here are our steps to success. I will, number one, look closely at each pair of pictures. I will, number two, say what you notice or see. How are the pictures the same or similar? Turn and talk. I will read each word and its definition. And number four, I will write each word two or more times and draw a picture for each. So let's go over our turn and talk rules. Number one, eye to eye and knee to knee. Make sure you face the person you're talking to. Number two, first one person talks, the other person listens. Number three, then the next person talks, the other person listens. Number four, do not talk too long on your turn or your partner will not have time to have a turn. For each pair of pictures, I'm going to ask the same questions. What do you notice or see? And you can say, I notice or I see. And then I'm going to say, how are they all the same or how are they both the same or similar? And you can say they all or they both. And then if you have a partner at home or if I'm your virtual partner, you can tell them whether you agree. And you can say, I agree with you because and say why. Or you can disagree and say, I disagree with you because and so, tell me why. Here's our first two pictures. What do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice someone is working hard. It looks like they're doing homework or writing something and they have a big stack of books. They're working very hard at their desk or table. In the second picture, I notice someone has a hard hat on with work boots and it looks like two people are working together by carrying something really heavy. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They both. Well, number one, they both show people working or work. W-O-R-K. Work. Work. Well, what does work mean? Work is a job or a task. Work. Make sure you write it for number one, W-O-R-K. Work is a job or task. So a synonym or word that means the same is a job. Work is a job. 
a job. So people go to work every day. People go to work every day. And this person looks like they work on a train. You could also substitute the word job. People go to a job every day. How do I use it? Some people get paid for their work at the end of the week. Or some people get paid for their job at the end of the week. What kind of work or job do you want to do when you grow up? Next group of pictures, what do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice an emoji with two thumbs up with a smile. In the next picture, I notice SpongeBob is winking and has his thumb up. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They both? Well, they both show great, great, G-R-E-A-T, great. So write the word great for number two. What does great mean? Great means very good. Great means very good. So a synonym or word that means the same is good. Good and great are related to each other. She did a great job baking this cake. She did a great job baking this cake. You could also say, she did a good job baking this cake. How do I use it? I think that is a great movie, said Mr. Rivera. What is great about your family? You could also say, I think that is a good movie, said Mr. Rivera. What is good about your family? Next pair of pictures, what do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice two people talking to each other or speaking. In the next picture, I notice a lot of speaking bubbles. A lot of people are talking or speaking or saying something. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They both. Well, they both show talk, T-A-L-K, talk, T-A-L-K, talk. What does talk mean? Talk means speak and communicate. Talk means speak and communicate. So a synonym or word that means the same is speak. He likes to talk with customers at his job. He likes to talk with customers at his job. You could also say he likes to speak with customers at his job. How do I use it? Vanessa likes to talk to her grandpa every Sunday. Or you could say Vanessa likes to speak to her grandpa every Sunday. How can someone talk to a family member who lives far away? You could also say, how can someone speak to a family member who lives far away? Next group of pictures, what do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice a stack of papers. And in the second picture, I notice a piece of paper and a pencil to write with. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They both. Well, they both show paper. P-A-P-E-R, paper. P-A-P-E-R, paper. What is paper? 
Paper or parchment is what you write on. It is what books are filled with. Paper or parchment is what you write on. It is what books are filled with. So a synonym or word that means the same for paper is parchment. The artist does his work on paper. The artist does his work on paper. You could also say the artist does his work on parchment. How do I use it? I love to make designs on tracing paper. What color construction paper do you like for art projects? You could also say, I love to make designs on tracing parchment. What color construction parchment do you like for art projects? Next group of pictures. The first picture says, wish you blank here. Wish you mm here. And then... It says, we mm, at school. So how are these pictures? The, what do you notice? And how are these pictures the same or similar? Well, in the first picture, I notice the sentence says, wish you mm here and there's only one purse one animal so someone is missing in the next picture i notice that the kids were already at school it's already in the past so how are these pictures the same or similar they both Well, they both show were. So you would say, wish you were here. W-E-R-E, -E, were. Wish you were here. Were. So you could also say, we were at school. That means it already happened. We were at school. Were is a use to talk about something in the past. R is used for the present. Were is a used word used to talk about something in the past. R is a word for the present or present tense. It's happening now. So you could say R, wish you, or are you here, or we are at school, but that means it's happening right now. But were means it happened already in the past. The farmers were very busy today. That means they were already busy in the past. The farmers are very busy. That means they're busy right now. How do I use it? We were going to play in the yard, but it got too cold. So that means in the past. What were your favorite activities in kindergarten? So if you say, we are going to play in the yard, you couldn't say, but it got too cold. Because that if you say you are doing something, you're doing it right now. Or what are your favorite activities in kindergarten would mean you're in kindergarten. But were means it already happened in the past were. Next group of pictures, what do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, I notice that there is a legs on a clock, so it's happening very quickly. And in the next picture, I notice a stopwatch. So again, it might mean time passing quickly. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They both? Well, they both show time, maybe passing quickly. So they both show soon, 
Soon, S-O-O-N, soon. Soon means in a short time or shortly. Soon means in a short time. It will happen soon. Soon means in a short time or shortly. So what's another word for soon? Shortly. Soon it will be time to go to lunch. Soon it will be time to go to lunch. You could also say shortly it will be time to go to lunch. That means in a short time. How do I use it? Wanda hopes that the flower delivery will come soon. What things would you like to learn to do soon? So Wanda hopes that the flower delivery will come quickly or shortly. What things would you like to learn to do shortly? So shortly and soon are related to each other. Next group of pictures, what do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice a laughing emoji. They're laughing so hard they're crying. In the next picture, I notice someone's laughing, maybe because something is funny. So how are these two pictures the same or similar? They both Well, they both show laugh. L A U G H. This is a tough word to spell. It doesn't make sense. L A U G H. Laugh. L A U G H. Laugh means to giggle and make sounds to show that something is funny. Laugh means to giggle and make sounds to show that something is funny. Synonym for laugh is giggle. A silly clown makes everyone laugh. A silly clown makes everyone laugh. You could also say a silly clown makes everyone giggle because giggle and laugh are similar. They are synonym, synonyms of each other. How do I use it? People laugh or giggle when they hear a funny joke. What other things make you laugh or giggle? Last group of pictures. What, what do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice a checklist and all of the things on the list are checked off. They're finished. In the next picture, I notice someone finished a race. They're at the finish line of a race. It's the end. So how are these two pictures the same or similar? They both Well, they both show done. So if you check everything off your list, you are done. When you come to the finish line, you are done with the race. Done. D-O-N-E. Done. D-O-N-E. Done. Done means over, finished, or completed. Done means over, finished, or completed. So a synonym or word that means the same is completed. He goes home when the work is done. He goes home when the work is done or he goes home when the work is completed. How do I use it? My homework is finally done. What have you done this week that you are proud of? You could also say, my homework is finally completed. What have you completed this week that you are proud of? All right, it's time to check your work. Make sure you have all your 
words spelled correctly and you um, have them all in order. Number one, work. Work is a job or task. Number two, great. Great means very good. Number three, talk. Talk means to speak and communicate. Number four, paper. Paper or parchment is what you write on. It is what a book is filled filled with. So if you need to make any corrections, this is a good time to push pause. And then when you're done, push play. Number five, were. Were is a used, were is a word used to talk about something in the past. Are is the word used for the present tense. So wish you were here. We were at school. Soon. Soon means in a short time or shortly. Number seven, laugh. Laugh means to giggle and make sounds to show that something is funny. Laugh. Number eight, done. Done means over, finished, or completed. Done. So this is a good time to push pause if you need to check your work. For numbers five through eight. And then when you're done, push play. It is time to reflect on your learning today. And did you reach your learning target? I can use pictures and context clues to help me understand important words from the biography, Tomas Rivera. Would you give yourself a four? I could teach this lesson. I easily said how each pair of pictures were the same. Or would you give yourself a three? I was able to say how most of the picture pairs were the same. Or I was able to say, or would you give yourself a two? I was able to say how some of the picture pairs were the same. Or would you give yourself a one? I was not able to say how any of the picture pairs were the same. So how do you think you did today? Four, three, two, or one? So it's the end of our lesson. It's time to challenge yourself. You've already written all your eight sight words or vocabulary words. So get out your crayons or your pencil to rainbow write your words up to two more times. One and two. The second time you can write the word or draw a picture to help you remember the word. Thank you everyone for reviewing the um, sight words and vocabulary with me. Have a great day.